The other day, the screen on this 65-inch TCL TV went dark. It still had the sound coming from it, and if you looked at the screen in the light, you could see a faint picture. Initially, I assumed it was a glitch, so I turned the TV off, unplugged it, and tried again. When it's first powered on, the screen would flash for a second, and then it would go black. I even hit the reset button on the side of the TV after that, and it didn't make a difference. After I decided that it wasn't going to get fixed from a reset, I started taking it apart to see if I could figure it out. The AC power plugs into the power board. This supplies power to the main board and it also sends DC power to the LED backlights, which light up the screen. I knew I had an issue with either the backlights or the power board. I looked up this issue online and most of the fixes only consisted of doing a reset. Clearly, that didn't work for me. After looking over how this TV works, I decided that it could only be the power board or the LED lights at fault. I removed the power board and analyzed it visually to search for any signs of overheating, damage, or corrosion. There were no physical signs of an issue. It didn't smell burnt either. I found a video where a similar TCL TV was doing the exact same thing. It flashed on for half a second, then went dark. That person went on to make another video claiming that they replaced the LED backlights and now they work. People are saying if the power board senses that some of the LEDs are burnt out, it will shut the rest of them off. With that in mind, I started taking the TV apart down to the LED backlights. Once I got to them, I checked the wiring and connectors. They all looked good. I checked each LED light under a flashlight to look for any signs of them failing. They usually look black or burnt if they fail. After carefully checking each of them, I couldn't locate anything suspicious. If you have something to send the proper amount of DC voltage to the light strips, then you can unplug them and test them that way. Since the LEDs had no signs of blowing, I went online and I found the power board that it would need. And a week later it came. After installing the new power board, it lit up the screen like normal again.